What's up guys? I finally did it. I finally finished the traction bars. I got them installed last night. Here, I'll show y'all. Anyway, so they work awesome. They uh, they were they were actually pretty easy once I got everything together. Uh, so anyway, here's the video. I hope you enjoy. This is the first video, but uh, it's a lot of content, so I split it up into two. But I hope you enjoy. So if you do, make sure to like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that. Anyway, here it is. So here's all the parts you're gonna need. What I did for the actual ladder bar piece, I found some one inch schedule 160 pipe. You see how thick that is. Now this this is not some Home Depot. Oh, I won't focus some uh, Home Depot cheap thin uh, thread pipe. This is this is well quality stuff, y'all. This is uh it's real hard. Uh, so anyway, for the actual ladder bar, one inch schedule 160. For the ends, I got some two by two by quarter inch wall thickness square tubing. Uh, and then for the inside, the mountain pieces, I did some half inch uh, plate. Now what you want to do is cut it just big enough where it fits inside your square tubing, which is kind of a rough cut, but uh, I wanted the gaps in there so I can get a little bit of penetration when I go to weld it. This is the, uh, these are actually track bar bushings off of a 97, Ford, uh, just something to uh, to take the the shock and the abuse of, of bumps and stuff, so it's not metal to metal. Now you can see this piece. The reason I picked this and the half inch tubing is when I drill this out, this bushing will slide down in it, and you can kind of see the thickness of it. It'll have something to uh, to get good coverage. So whenever you bolt it down, it'll be good and snug and fit real good. The bolts to connect them, these I actually got it. <coughs> Tractor Supply. And they're trailer shackle bolts. Now they're super, super hard steel and they're studded on one end. And the nuts are, if I can figure it, here it is. They're actually jam nuts. So it's gonna go on there so far easy and then it's going to be tight against the the threads as you tighten it up okay now as far as welding rods now this is something that i want to have uh plenty 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 of penetration because it's going to be taking a lot of beating uh you definitely don't want it to crack or, or mess up but the welding rods i'm going to use are to start with to get my tacks and everything it's going to be just a regular downhill rod a 6010 uh and what that's going to do these whenever you uh you use that for your base pass it's gonna it's gonna dig it's gonna penetrate that metal and get in there real deep and then these are going to go over the outside uh they tend to hold a lot more vibration and they cool off a lot slower so your metal's not quite as uh tempered uh now you can see when i start my weld i'm gonna have just a little gap okay so we made our first tag
the guy finished well though, man. That's our 7018. Now that dude not going anywhere. Not never. So here I got everything lined up. <clears throat> Made my second tack. It'll focus. I don't know why it's having so much trouble focusing, but I got my second tack, and if you'll see, I laid it on this piece of square tubing. That way, this end is sitting flat against this, and this end is sitting flat against that. That way, I know that the two ends are in line with each other. They're not rolled or off-centered. They're perfectly straight. So, just a little quick tip. Now I'm just gonna do, <clears throat> I'm just gonna run the first pass and grind it. And then run the finish pass just like I did on the other side. Okay. So then now your next step is to take one of your, take one of your pieces of metal and put it right here in the end. Now what you wanna do is make sure that you get it flush right here. Come on, focus. You want it flush across the top. And then we're gonna weld all this out. Same way we did this, we're gonna do a root pass, grind on it a little bit, and then run a low hydrogen, cap it out. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So now, we got, it should look something like this. Flip it over. Have that. Now, see on this one, this is where our bushing is gonna go. And we want it to lay flat right in there. So now we've got to grind. We're gonna grind all that flat and smooth. And then we'll go to drilling a hole in it. Okay. <clears throat> so what I've done, I got everything cleaned up and I found center. That's what those marks are. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm not even gonna go all the way through it. I'm just gonna make more or less a little punch mark, just a little a deeper than a punch mark with a smaller bit. And then I'm gonna come back and use this one, this hole saw. And uh, what that's gonna do is, you see it's about the same as, as my bushing. And uh, one thing to note, this, the, this is a half inch thick now, so you're gonna wanna use uh, some kind of oil or, or something. Maybe you know something better than I do, just post it in the comments. But uh, I'm gonna use, I usually use transmission fluid, just ATF, regular old automatic transmission fluid. So anyway, I'm gonna do that now. So I got my transmission fluid. I just, let's see if it'll focus. My wife's having such a hard time. Anyway, I just drilled a little hole in it. Uh, now with this, I recommend using a, a corded drill just because the uh, you're gonna be making a lot, a lot of cut or a lot of a lot of holes. So, uh, and with this, you don't want to put you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it just because you uh, you're gonna end up dulling this blade. All right, guys, so it's right at <clears throat> somewhere around 12 o'clock Saturday night. I do have to go to work in the morning. I'm just finishing up the video. So I guess just make sure and stay tuned uh, for part two. It's, it's too much content for one video, but not quite enough for two full videos so i'm gonna just save the rest of it for uh the part two which would be the finish and the install and uh and yeah so make sure and stay tuned for that and uh probably tomorrow the next day i've been tossing around a couple of ideas so uh so anyway make sure and keep checking in i'll probably have it up in the next three or four days so uh if you like it, make sure and like it. All that 
subscribe, all that mobile jumbo. But anyway, about to go to bed. Y'all have a good one. Go do something.